Hey guys, my name is Darren. Uh, welcome to my show. Um, I'm going to be showing you um, a brief um, review on the new Sochi Igniter. Uh, this is really awesome. What I really like about this is that um, it automates your Facebook groups. So uh, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've signed into it. Um, I've signed my uh, actual Facebook and I'm going to go through the process now just so you know roughly how it all works. So if I want to create a new campaign, um, it's got this great thing called auto content. So if we click on auto content and we do a search, say, for, um, let's say, help diet, right? So let's go for diet and then we do a search. And what it does is it searches the internet and it looks for free content and it will bring up um, a series of tags and suggested content. So what you do then is if there's anything that you really want to add to your to your Facebook page, all right? And it, by the way, the process for actually connecting your Facebook is really easy. Basically, what you do is you just click on your Facebook, and then it asks you if if you give permission uh, for the social igniter to connect it to Facebook, which is fine. It allows that no problem whatsoever. And then say you've got, say, 14 or 15 pages, you can even send it to all 15 pages. Or what you can do is um, you can choose independently what page you want to send it to. So what I'm going to do, just, just for the, the thing here, I'm going to choose, uh, let's try this one here. So if I click on that one, all right, and as soon as you click on it, if you look down the bottom, it adds it. This is it there, let's see, final content, so it adds what you're actually going to be putting in. I'm going to add that. Here we go. And you'll find that it's added that into there as well. See that? And then what we can do now is we can look for uh, suggested tags, because obviously we want people to see it. Okay. So we'll go for ketogenic diet, ketogenic ketones. And basically what we're doing now is we're just adding in the suggested tags. Okay, so I've done that. All right. And then what I'm going to do now is I can click on add to clipboard. Now, if I, what I can do now, if I want to, is where I've added it to clipboard, uh, I can either put it into my WordPad so I can actually save it and then I can use it or I might even be able to uh, upload it onto Tumblr or anything like that. So you can use it for loads of other things. It's not just Facebook. Uh, it gives you the ability of taking off what you've found and then copying and pasting it, which is really, really good. So now if I click on, click to continue, it comes up now with create a campaign to use suggested content. And what it's asked me to do now is I can use a Facebook poster, cross poster or CTA poster. So let's go for Facebook poster. Okay, now what it's come up with now is campaign name. So let's make it um, Healthy Diet. Okay, now that isn't the campaign name, isn't what's actually called on Facebook. This is what's coming up on Facebook. Okay, so wall. So what I put there is, well, this looks good for diets. And then what it does then, it gives you the ability to select your page. So if you can see now, you see that all these are my pages. So I'm going to put it into Darren's diet page. All right. Like that. And then what I will do next is I could have a link. So if I wanted to add a link on it as well, or I can add an image, or I can add a video. All right. So basically, say for instance, um, I want to add um, an image. What I would basically do is go to Google and I would do a search for keto, keto diet. And then what I would do then is search for images. And then so you don't get into trouble with copyright, if you type in SN, which allows you to use a snipping tool, and then click on this one here, all right? Now, with your snipping tool, which is here, if you click on New, you can now drag that across. Like that. All right, and we can save that. And I'll save this as 
keto one all right so when i look in my pictures i should find it in keto one i'm going to save that okay so what i've done is i've actually produced my own content even though i've copied it um because then in some respects it doesn't come up with uh, any keys or anything like that and no timestamp on the actual picture all right so we're going to go back into our social auto poster we're going to click on image we're going to upload image and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to search in pictures and somewhere there we go there's the keto one click on open and you'll see that that has now come up just like that you see that guys how easy that is now you've got the ability also to schedule so what you can do is you can set this up so you can have these posters going in and off when you like all right so that's how we've done that right so what i've basically done now is i've previewed this what well, those looks good for diets and then of course if i wanted to add a link i can I click on the link um i haven't actually got the link actually so we'll stick on the image at the moment I'm on a different laptop, so I haven't got my campaigns on there. So just for I'm going to now create post. It's processing. So what it's done now is you'll see there's a couple here that I've learned, and this is a cloud-based um, software. So basically, you know, you can just access it from the cloud, which is great if you've got numerous or different accounts. Okay. So we see here healthy diet, which I've sent. So I'm now going to visit the web page, and you see there, guys. There you go and that's in Darren's diet page and there it is so you can see that so you can see the power of this has got you can add to call um, click um, to action um, the only thing you've got to be careful with which is quite important is that obviously if you put out um, an affiliate link in Facebook you'll get banned okay so you need to run a landing page so you can either put it in a landing page I use build a role uh, and then I create my own landing page uh, or you can use it on the website and you can Wix is very um, free so you can use Wix create a uh, an actual click call to action and then you can open up your affiliate link that way and then you don't get into trouble with Facebook so that's how you do with that guys okay so um, this is just the basic like I say this is my copy I've literally bought this yesterday I'm trying it out it's really really good uh, see how you get on guys um, this is the bottom of it i mean there are upsells on it as well um but it does show you what what you get i mean there's loads of stuff that you can do with this um but click on the link have a look yourself see, see what you think um and you know and you also you get a bonus as well which is all built in these are all free and uh, some of these i've actually downloaded and had a look at some of these are pretty decent bonuses um so you know it's they give you a lot of software for free uh, simply because you purchased the social igniter okay um so there's tutorials click on the tutorials it will show you how to operate it how it all works etc and then if you do go down the route of um wanting to purchase it we need to do is click on the link guys um i will be supplying some bonuses myself uh which are uh, obviously unique from other people's um, so you know it's up to you what you want to do but have a look around other people's uh, because they obviously have a lot of uh, bonuses as well and you never know you might be able to get more than what I can supply but what I can say is I can help you so if you do get stuck just give me um, an email at darren.brown at hotmail.co.uk or you can all email me on my support which is support at darrenbrown.org.uk and i'll do my best to help you uh, i can actually help you with affiliate links uh, if you want to learn how to use clickbank uh, if you've stuck if you're a newbie um you know just give me a shout and i can see what i can do for you you can see here this is the what you get you get connected fans cta poster bot generator html button chat box so there's a whole numerous of things which comes with this social igniter and you're roughly looking around about 37 dollars that's how much I pay for it, and to be honest with you, I think it's very, very good. Um, it's key if you can just check this one out here. This is another one which I downloaded, and obviously, if you click on this, you'll see here that this should go into 
so what you can do is you can create a call to action to go to a website and then you can open up uh, a YouTube channel or you can directly open a YouTube channel, a YouTube channel um, without actually having a call to action through Facebook because you won't get banned for it. Um, it's only if you, if you, you know, because Facebook, uh, they don't like it too much because they think it's going to be a bit of a spammy situation. And, it, and you can see I've got three sites here which are running. I've got nearly 14 pages because uh, you can have quite a few pages on just one um, account when it comes to your uh, Facebook. Um, you can have, it is endless, believe it or not, but I would imagine that I wouldn't go any more than 100. I would restart, um, which is probably the best idea. So hopefully that's helped you. If, it's gonna be, if I've gone a bit too quick, just slow it down or rewind it back because it's going to be on YouTube anyway. Uh, let me know um, if you've got any comments and um, I look forward to um, hearing them and till next time. Thanks very much. Thanks. Bye.